Hi, this is QA Shahin, and today we are going to carry on with Web Driver JS, and we are going to look at using the CSS selector. So for this video, we're going to cover two things really quickly. First of all, we're going to look at what the CSS selector is, and we're going to look at examples of using CSS selectors. So first and foremost, what is a CSS selector? So the first thing we're going to do is just navigate to the testroom.com and then we're going to go to our test web app. And we're going to run test against this test app. So to figure out what CSS selector is, let's quickly look at the page source for this test app. So I'm going to right click on home and I'm just going to say inspect. And this will then bring up the HTML source code for this particular page. So really quickly, when we talk about HTML pages, we can use what is called a CSS file. CSS stands for cascading style sheet and it is used to basically decorate your web pages with a template which can then be used across other pages so that you end up with the same decoration across multiple pages. So for instance, we could define the size of links, we can define the font type, we can define the background color. Essentially, aesthetic features of a page which can be defined in one place. That CSS can then be referred to in multiple web pages. So for instance, this is the style sheet that is used on this particular page, which in this case is the home page. And the same style sheet is used in different pages on this website. So that the same styles are applied to different pages. Now, why is it important you understand that? The reason why it's important, especially when we talk about CSS, is that we can actually use CSS styles to identify an element on a page. So for instance, if we look at this anchor tag here, which is referring to this home link, we can see that it has an ID of a home underscore link, it has a href and it has a name, but also it is inside an anchor tag. There's a good chance that this anchor tag is actually something that's been defined by CSS. Also, if you look at something like this, class is equal to left underscore link. Class is a good candidate of an attribute that is usually defined in your CSS. So in short, your CSS, the features and decorative elements that we use to style a web page we can actually hook into those things using WebDriver.js via the CSS selector to then actually interact with a web page. So I hope all of that made sense. Now we're going to actually look at some actual examples of such a thing. So this is a very rundown version of navigating to the test site that we were just looking at. All we're going to do is define web driver, define the by method, build the driver, and then simply navigate to the site. So before we do anything else, let's quickly run this just to make sure that this works. Okay, so it looks like it worked. All it did was we navigated to the testroom.com forward slash web app. We didn't do anything fancy at all. So the first thing that I think we should try to do is click on this home link. So if I right click on home and inspect, I can see that this has a number of things associated with that link. First of all, it is inside an anchor tag. It has an ID, it has a name and so on. Now we can use CSS to identify certain bits of this particular tag. 
and let's try and go ahead and try and identify the ID attribute using CSS. So how do you write CSS? So writing CSS is very similar to writing any other locator based method. You do driver, find element, and then you find by something, and in this case it's going to be CSS, and then inside this you pass in what it is that you want to try and identify something by. And once we identify it, we're going to try and click on it. So in this case, I said I want to identify by ID. To do that, when we use a CSS selector to identify something by ID, we use the hashtag. And in this case, the value was home underscore link. Now, if we save this and run it, this should now actually open up a web page and then click on the home link because we asked it to identify it based on ID via CSS. And there you go. It clicked on the home link after it opened up the web page. So that's great. So this is how we identify something based on ID via CSS. Let's have a look at another example. Let's try to click on the adoption link this time. So previously we used the ID. This time let's try and use the name attribute. So how do we actually use CSS to define attribute? So again, it's similar to ID, but this time we are trying to do something a little bit different. When we want to try and identify something based on attribute, the first thing we need to do is provide square brackets. And then inside the square brackets, we literally give the exact same value that we had for the attribute and the value of that attribute. So in this case, the attribute was called name and the value for the attribute was nav underscore adopt. And that should be it. So let's save this and run this and see what happens. Okay, great. So it looks like it first clicked on the home link followed by the adoption link. Great, now let's have a look at another way of using the CSS selector. This time we're going to try and print the value of all of these heading one text. So if we inspect this again, then we can see that all of the links on the left hand side are all inside a H1 heading. So we can actually use this as well. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to say driver find element by CSS. And this time we're going to say that we want something based on a very specific tag. And in this case is H1. And we're then going to try and use a promise to actually get the text of those tags. So if you don't know what promises are, it's a concept that I covered in detail in the previous video. So if you're a bit confused as to what this means, uh, please have a look at that. If I go into trying to explain a promise now, then there's a good chance that this video will sort of become a repetition of the previous video. Okay, so really quickly, what have we done here? So over here, all I've said is I want to use CSS and I want to find a very specific tag. And then I end up using the then promise, which will return eventually the text that is found inside H1. So let's save this and run this and see what happens. Oh, looks like I've missed a syntax somewhere. 
and it looks like this is what I missed. Okay, let's save this and run this. Okay, so we could see that this time it printed out all of the text in the left hand sidebar. Okay, so in this video it looks like we have covered how to fetch something by ID, how to get something by attribute, and how to get something by tag. So these three things are just three very simple examples of trying to find an element on a web page via CSS and then interacting with it. So what have we done in this video? So in this video we have taken a very simple approach to first of all trying to understand what CSS is and how it relates to the CSS selector in WebDriver.js. And then we looked at some three simple examples of using CSS to actually interact with elements on a web page. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next one.